Welcome to Anderton's TV. This is Guitar Paradiso. I'm Peter. And I'm Mick. Hello. How are you? I've missed you. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done any videos. And now we're back again. With yes. Duesenbergs again. We are. Lots of Duesenbergs. Um, lots of Duesenbergs. The last Duesenberg video went down very well and people liked the sounds. Yeah. But today we are introducing something else into the mix because aside from these here guitars we have... What we're really here for is this. The Berlin amplifier. Duesenberg's, sorry, I need to turn that down. I almost forget that. <laughs> you should just mute me there or something. Yeah, Literally. let's do that. Yeah, There we are, look you, at that. He's got the power. You muted I'm is a muted. brilliant thing. <laughs> <laughs> you mute. What? So, we are here to look at this amazing Duesenberg amp, the Berlin. Yes, and just in case you were wondering, it hasn't been left out in the rain for a week. Nope, this is their special patina finish. It's like a rusty finish. It's a very, very thin layer of of something they put on here and it looks like it's rusted actually on the sides so you'll probably get a, a close-up shot on that in a minute it kind of looks like it's been it has been sitting out in the, in the yeah, rain I mean, with it, rust on it it, it is wood cool. just yeah. just to uh, wood make that point you can see yeah. the finger joint in the um in the edge there but yeah it's just got this cool kind of well, i don't know what you'd call it steampunk would you call it steampunk yeah but it's like a, it's like a rusty patina isn't it? yeah they do the guitars as well they do a guitar to cost them uh, which has got the same finish on it. It looks mm. really, really cool. I, this is leather. I like that. I was touching yeah, yeah, that yeah. a little bit. That's, that's and cool. And, you know, it retains the bits and bobs of Duesenberg Art Deco with the steps and everything. And the knobs looks really cool. There's the same ones here, but obviously aged. Yeah. Uh, what do you call that? Green stuff on there? Rust. <laughs> Oxidisation. Yeah, that's yeah. the one, yeah. Okay. I think so, it looks really cool. Inside here, we've got, what have we got? Um, a 12X7, a 7025. Yeah. Uh, in the preamp, six and sixes. So it's an all valve affair. It's yeah. hand wired. It's completely made in Germany. So Forty five watts. Premium product, you might yeah. say. Everything, even the transformers, are made in Germany. So they, you know, they make everything there. They make all the guitars there, and you know, the the, the same quality on the guitars definitely shines through on the amp here. Mm. So it looks really well built. Everything is 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 really cool. Single channel with a foot switchable boost. Yeah. Let's see of the. Uh, Actually, this is made of metal. Yeah. Um, Looks cool. So, foot switchable boost, and the boost is in two stage. Well, it's in. Uh, there are two types of boost. One is a higher gain, more compressed. One is yeah. a lower gain, less compressed. Little switch on the back for to, for that option. So let's hear it, Peter. Um, yeah. So we do some cleans first. Let's do some cleans first. Okay. I'm on a star player here. TV collection streamline clean tone front pickup. That's very good. nice. So that was just the front pickup. I'll just go to the split position. Let's add some reverb into the mix. So yes. um, the Berlin has got a, a series effects loop, and in that effects loop, we've got a Duesenberg the Rev. The Rev reverb pedal. So yep. let's have so a, let's, let's put that on there. Very nice, yeah. It is cool. It is very, very it's, cool. Um, nice piece. So this is a Fullerton series Carl Carton model in vintage white all mm, over. So the label says. Look at that. So we've actually got. Is that, oh, you've got a humbucker as well. Okay, yep. humbucker. Yeah. Um, so this is what this sounds like. Yeah. 
Yeah. I like that. That's really good, so isn't it? at this point, it would probably be appropriate to switch over to the... Uh, so this is to... the boost mode, and this is the higher gain of the boost mode, I think. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. So uh, I'll do it um, clean and then with boost. Yep. Yeah. So straight off the bat, there's quite a lot of compression going on there. Yeah, you can hear that. So on the on the boost section here, it's got a contour button, so there's no uh, treble or middle of bass. Do you want to do so. do the uh, extremes of that while I play a bit? Yep. There's just, a lot. There's a lot in the contour, definitely. Let, just leave it there, and I'll I'll switch the um the two boost modes, and we'll we'll decide which is which. The switch is on the okay. back for this. So. Yeah. That's definitely a lower. Well, interestingly, it's called the high boot high boost yeah. because there's more gain, but there's a load more compression. Ah. So I guess if we. Okay. <laughs> Do you want right. to try that with a with a hollow uh, with a semi? Do that in a sec. One thing yeah. I just want to say is that the way that compression is working in that just makes it so playable. Have yeah. a go. Have a go. Have a go. S see what you think. Just knock that up to the uh, the lower. I'll knock that up to the lower gain boost yes. setting. Yeah. I think it'll get a lot louder. Go on. Yeah. So that's 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 pretty interesting because um, even though the second the first sound we heard the more compressed one is called the higher. Yeah. Higher boost. It actually feels to me like a lower boost because it's more gain and yes. more compression. You, yeah. I like I it. It's good, isn't it? I, I, I can't put it in a, a category. It's like its own amp sound. It's not like it's a Fender. It's not like it's a Marshall. I don't know. You know. Yeah. It's the, this. The, it's just the Duesenberg. It's like the guitars. You know. You go. It's not this. It's not that. It's just they just got their own thing going on. But it's yeah. really good. And and you know, there's so many. Um, preconceptions about what you might find in an amp so immediately if you said to somebody you know 45 watt 6l6 is they immediately their head goes mm -hmm. fender a hot rock deluxe yeah. whatever they you know it's, that's a 40 watts isn't it and so it's not that at all it's not it? that at all no and i think that's because they they've built most of it from they built everything from scratch you know it's all handmade there and i think mm -hmm. they've just gone for for their tone yeah, and that's great. I love when people do that. Go for yeah. their thing. Let's um individuality. Let's go back to the, the clean channel a sec. Yeah, uh, and we've also got on the floor here a Duesenberg White Drive Two. White right, Drive Two pedal. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not wholly familiar with the White Drive One, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There was I think White Drive. I don't think there is a White Drive. There must no, have no, been no, at no. some point. Uh, yeah. Unless it's a, it's a name, maybe it's a uh, like the ref, maybe it's the it's a play on names. Yeah, white drive two, drive two. Anyway, it doesn't matter. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, am I on, Emma? You're on. Okay. <laughs>
Nice. nice. Takes uh, pedals well. I'll just try yeah. that in the uh, distortion mode as well, just okay. to see what happens. Yeah. Mm. take a little bit off the reverb. I've got to say as well, I like the sound of the amp's overdrive more than I like the sound of the pedal. It's really good that, isn't it? Yeah, go it's on really then. good. So that's just the that's just the overdrive from the amp there. It's like a fuss, buzz. Can't say fuzz. I can't say z because of the Danish. Because he's so Danish. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. So what that was was the white drive hitting the boosted uh, part of the amp, and yeah. then when it got louder, Pete switched, I switched it to over the to clean. The, yeah. Just well, that's see. you know if you're thinking about those kind of into Texas, really, really kind of stacked gain yeah. things mushing up. I yeah. mean, I really, really like that. I'm really impressed for, for this amp. You know, it is a quality premium product. Yeah. So the price is there. You know, it's a, it's a high-end piece of equipment, so you get what you pay for, and you know, but then it's, it's it sounds really good. Yeah. I really like it. You know, let's try it. We've got a, a Violet Trem, not a Violet? Violet, not a yes, Violet. Yes, not, not Violet. <laughs> but uh, also in the effects loop. So uh, let's switch that off. I'll go over there. Here's the clean. So you're gonna get. That's nice. That's really nice, isn't Not much it? What's wrong with that? Yeah. So you can I do. There's, there's, there's a fair bit um, volume left here. So you that's can low do. Is about nine, isn't it? That's, yeah. And what, how, what was the settings? A little bit bass. Yeah, I, I just knocked the mids back a bit yeah. there. So you can get it chimey and clean. Loads of tones out of that thing. That's for sure. I like this little light here to show. It's the same little light bulb. When you click it, it goes red, green, red. I like that. So it's not, you know what I mean? In, in one, that's a little thing. Yeah. I like that little sort of thing. Yeah, it's like Spider Man, so. Hulk. <laughs> Spider Man, Hulk. That should be the other way around, though, shouldn't it? Happy, happy, uh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that's really cool. And these pedals as well are, uh, this is all available in, at Anderton's, in Anderton's. Pedals are as well, so, and they are really good. The guitars are great, as always, like we did last time. Uh, we should say about the. Um, the violent trim there, yeah. <laughs> the, the violet, the violet trim. It's got um, uh, a softer wave and a harder, more clipped. Yeah, wave. there's a little switch on the top. Yeah, and obviously to speed that. and depth as you would, as yeah. you would. Um, speed, intensity, volume. Imagine um, it, also, it does a boost that trim. Did you know that? I did read that really quickly. So, uh, so um, there's a volume on there. So, so if he went all the way up. Yeah. Ah, quite so significant. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. And that's that's, that's, that's 
that's because if you're using a um, intensity, fairly intense, yeah, trem, you can lose a lot of the signal. Yeah. That is lovely. We could do this all day long, man. <laughs> this is great. This sounds good, doesn't it? Some good you know, sounds these, and in there. I must say, these look really cool. Well. They look good, these pedals, don't they? Yeah, well, um, they look sexy. There'll be some more Duesenberg pedals videos that yeah, you can also see on this channel, which yeah. we're, we're, we're also recording today. But yeah, um, Berlin, what, um, have, what have we missed? I'm looking at our little cheat <laughs> sheet there. I, oh, Celestian G12 Gold, gold speaker. Gold in the cabinet. Have it's you, an open back. Have you ever heard a gold sound bad? No. Normally. I haven't. It I is do. a remarkable speaker. Yeah, it doesn't does. doesn't suit every amp, but seems to suit this it one. It suits this one, you know. That is, it's a great match. That and it looks cool. I think it looks very cool. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe maybe not for everybody, but I think it looks cool. Yeah, it does. You're gonna play us out a little bit, do a little bit. Um, that guitar sounds good. Tell you what, why don't we? Let me um just swap guitars a minute. Okay, so this uh, is a double cat. Same pickups as that. Right. Yow. Yeah, <laughs> smaller body, a uh, little bit of um, hollow in it. John uh, Mayer plays that guitar as well. You might have seen him faff about on one of those. Ah, uh, yeah. So he did play it on Jules, didn't he? He did. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, we have been Guitar Paradiso. Yeah. This has been the Duesenberg Berlin. Ich bin eine Berliner. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>